Celsius. Altimeter 3026. Remarks. Density altitude 4,200. Nogales International Airport. Automated weather observation 1854 Zulu. Wind 210 at 07. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 12 Celsius. Dew point minus 07 Celsius. Altimeter 3026. Remarks. Density altitude 4002. <laughs> Checklist includes things like checking the oil, and um, that in this engine it involves cranking the prop until you hear what's called a burp, and that means that the oil has gone through the system. We check the fuel tanks, both tanks, one in each wing, for debris and water content. We check every single fastener that's visible. We check that there's no binding of any control. Master on, avionics on, fuel pump three seconds. Throttle, whoops, half an inch. Clear. Nogales traffic, experimental 919er Mike Papa, departing runway 22, left turn out to the east, Nogales. Mine looks like something out of Blade Runner's kind of desolate scenery. Um, but it's interesting that uh, all the copper that we use in our devices comes out of that big hole. So that's what we, we uh, tolerate it for, otherwise it would just be plain ugly. There's a little airfield just another two miles ahead, Ruby Star, where I land sometimes for a pit stop. We're about 9,000 feet to get over that ridge in front of us. When we get over, you look down, you'll see the uh, border wall. Nogales traffic, experimental 919 or Mike Papa, 10 to the east, inbound, landing runway 22, full stop, Nogales. When we land, We'll be just 10 miles from the border again. We're in Nogales on the Arizona side, Nogales on the Sonora side, uh, kind of bridged. So the airport is just 10 miles from the border. as tiny as it is, is a main training center for international pilots because it's on the border. Pilots come in from all over the world to get trained here. Dubai, China, Europe. It's surprising uh, what a hub it is. So this is a Zenith CH-701 short takeoff and landing aircraft called the Bush plane. And we can take off in probably 200 feet. 